Alright, so we're on our way to Mangyu village and that looks like Mangyu village. And uh, it seems we stumbled on some layberry bushes. Just so you know what layberry looks like. The market is flooded with layberry juice. And uh, those little orange bunches of fruit. Uh, what layberry juice comes from and Aditi is now going to try one let's see how that works out for her I'm not trying I'm just showing yeah those little guys are layberries can you eat them? and uh, hundreds of them when squished and squashed become layberry juice eh? but can you eat them? Just like yeah have, have a go do you want to try it first? <laughs> oh really? <laughs> I want to try layberry Just to be sure that it's edible Mmm, yummy And? It's damn yummy It has a seed inside it uh, But it's very yummy, it's so little Aditi has now got the confidence to try some layberry for herself uh, a mouthful of layberry juice. <laughs> Come on, baby, start popping. All right, let's try this. How's it? I haven't tried it yet. Yeah? Mm. Tastes exactly like layberry, eh? No, tasted a layberry before. So you have the this, this squash and the bottle of the layberry juice. Ah! That comes in the beer bottle right, size right, thing. Right. There you go. Well, now you know what that is. Yeah. And it grows in this pristine nature. Can we grow this in Goa? Mm, I don't think you can grow this in Goa, baby. Damn. Unless I can take this in. These berries are uh, only known to grow in these parts, which is why they're called lay berries. Okay. Although they grow all over Ladakh. But uh, we actually stopped for the crane that was up ahead to go off so we don't get dust in our face. And it's time now for us to hit the road on our trusted Himalayan. So this is what was bothering her butt. This sharp edge right here on the bumps. And we're gonna have to put something here. Do they become bigger? No, or that's the full size, size, baby. This is the size? Yeah, that's the full size of a layberry. Here, pop one in your mouth. Gladly. This is like the heartland of Rasta. Because you can see red, yellow and green everywhere. That's what Jamaican colour is all about because Red, yellow and green is everywhere. In all the beautiful things of life, there's red, yellow and green. Comfy road, comfy road. So, let's go up to we're here to check out the Mangyu temple and uh, that smells like uh, the traditional compost toilet just going beside it is the uh, temple jana kesana from here check out these amazing stupas so quiet here. Yeah. What really amazes me is the architecture around here. Hey there.
getting this. Vairo Kana Temples. This is the Manju Shri Temple. And this small door is the only way to enter. And these ancient paintings are all over the wall. <laughs> this is the Avalokiteshvara temple. Can't even fathom how old this wood is. So this monastery is a thousand years old. Which means this village is also a thousand years old. And there's bits of animal poop around. 6.5 kilometers of the highway is Mangyu village and a thousand year old temple. Eh? This is where the poop's coming from. Well, now we know where the poop's coming from. <laughs> Out of breath walking around the temple at Mangyu. Ah, look at these gorgeous stupas. ऐसे लग रहा है इतना ऊंचा पहाड़ चढ़ के बाइक मिलेगा हमें है यहीं पे सो नाउ वी गोना सॉर्ट आउट अदितीज बैक रेस्ट विद दिस जैकेट दैट वी हैव एज बैकअप होपफुली वी शुड विजिट अल्ट्री एंड कम बैक बिफोर द सन सेट्स She's going to thank me for this. I hope. 
कभी कभी लाइफ में स्ट्रीम के साइड में आनंद लेना चाहिए आनंद दे रही है मेरी बीवी पहाड़ों के पानी का माउंटेन वाटर थेरेपी ये 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 Okay so right here the water is freezing super cold the water and the tavern getting chilling like a rain it's happening kala i'm seeing how big these shoes are for me <laughs> Tree. and uh, we are at alchi kitchen where we're going to try out some local cuisine they also have a branch at uh, le bazaar and they serve uh, authentic local food so let's uh, see how this goes the kitchen is very cute it's got some old ladakhi style dishes and that's the kitchen and that's the place that's the kitchen This is an interesting door. This is. It opens to the top, and they tie it at the top. Chi Kitchen has delivered some butter tea, which I personally love. Not much of uh, Aditi's taste because of the salt. She's having the ginger lemon tea. Mm. This is uh, what is this called? It's the local bread. Local bread with, of course, what they call a local filling. That's that's wedge. Uh, mushrooms daddy mushrooms mm, and veggies with chicken and some uh, veggies with chicken hopefully i like veggies with chicken not just chicken so let's see how this goes mm. Mm. so what's your verdict on the kambir veg the kambir was amazing it had some mayo in it didn't it and it was delicious mm. mushrooms the, mayo tomatoes but the veg momo is i've had I've had better veg momos. Better veg momos. Yeah. And the non-veg kambir, I really like it. I think what they've done is they've put some uh, sliced uh, chicken sausages, which works really well. There's some mayo, some sweet corn, and some onions and stuff. But of course, the game changer is the bread. The way the bread is made is really interesting. Whole wheat bread in uh, fluffy and tasty. The uh, the chutney is also something I really like because it's not that spicy. Plus, it's got a bit of uh, mix of different things, and it's really yummy. The momos are expensive but fully stuffed with veggies, which is great. Yeah. So loving it. <laughs> 